to all the dog pounds out there, to all the rescues, to all the people who, for some reason, genuinely cannot keep their dogs in their homes anymore, no matter what the reason is, it's a genuine reason, this message is not for you. But I would appreciate it if you would share it. This is for those people who have a dog and they've probably had it from being a puppy but however long or short a time they've had it there becomes a reason in their mind why they want it to go into rescue. You people are asking us to rescue your dog from you. The reasons are varied. You're pregnant. Somebody in the family is pregnant. The dog pulls on a lead. The dog jumps up. It barks a lot. It's been messing in the house. That's not a dog that needs to go into rescue. That's a dog that needs training. So please seek professional help. We'll give you help and advice and the Trust will give help and advice free. Anything to help you keep your dog and sort the problem out rather than pass it into a rescue. It is the easy option putting it into a rescue. For you but for us, we are left trying to sort the dog out. And furthermore, if the dog has bitten the next door neighbour, bitten the family member, killed the cat, do you really expect us to be able to pass that dog on to somebody else? That dog is your responsibility. Whether it pulls, jumps up, whether it's bitten, it is your responsibility, not ours. We take from dog pounds, dogs that have nobody backing them up, seven days, and they might be put to sleep because there's no spaces for them. We take from people who genuinely cannot keep their dogs anymore. Maybe they've been evicted, maybe somebody's passed away. Genuine cases. When you pass your dog into us for a reason that really isn't rescue, you are taking up the space of the genuine people. A dog in a pound may have to die, be put to sleep, Somebody who genuinely can't keep their dog anymore might have to put it into a pound because you took the easy option and passed your dog on to us. And by the way, you need to tell the truth when you're bringing your dog in. It's no good telling us it's got a lovely temperament when it's bitten you. It's no good saying it has no issues when it pulls like a train and has had no training whatsoever. This is for you people. You got your dog. You took it into your home and when you think it goes into rescue, you think the problems are solved, but they're not. I want you to listen to this. Some dogs settle really well when they're coming to us, particularly the ones that are genuine rescues, believe it or not. They've probably been shut away or abused and for them it, it is a total haven of peace coming in here where they're looked after, they can learn to trust again, they're well fed, but for your dog, where you've played with it every day and you've let it think it's part of your family and then you just put it out, that's what happens. We have to listen to that stress, to that dog panting. We have to listen to the poor dog trying to settle into a totally different way of life. We nurse it, we look after it, we sit with it. We cry for it, but we don't cry for you. So please, to all of you genuine people out there who we do our utmost to help, please share this and let everybody know that there has to come a time when people take responsibility for their own dogs and stop passing the book to somebody else which can cost the life of a genuine rescue dog. Thank you and please share.